Hello, if you got to this video is probably because you might want to learn Korean. Learning a new language is a long journey, but with the help of LingoPie, Korean learners can immerse themselves in Korean culture, language and drama, significantly speeding up their learning in the process. Binge-watching K-dramas will familiarize you with the sound of the language, immerse you in the culture and seriously improve your listening skills, comprehension and confidence when you start to speak Korean as a foreign language. So here is a list of shows you can binge-watch, have fun and improve your experience of language learning without putting in the effort. Grab your popcorn! But before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content on language learning by LingoPie. Number 1. Extraordinary Attorney Wu Wu Young Wu is extremely smart, and she also has autism spectrum disorder. She never forgets what she sees, but she lacks in social skills. In this series, available on Netflix, Wu Young Wu begins to work as a trainee lawyer at a large law firm. While working there, she faces prejudice and irrationality against her, but she solves cases with her own unique perspective and grows as a lawyer. Number 2. Pluto, Secret Detectives This comedy K-drama stars four young detectives who make up an elite secret society of crime fighters. The show is entertaining, and it's also excellent for picking up new vocabulary. Given that the show is made for a young audience, the dialogues are easy to follow. This makes it a great choice for language learners at the beginning of their Korean studies. Number 3. Masaman this is a short movie about a boy with Down syndrome who enters a welfare center for the disabled. The show deals with the societal treatment of disabled people and how far people will go to accept or reject those who are different in Korean culture. Remember, watching Korean dramas is not only a great way to learn Korean, but it also gives you a look into societal differences and values. Masamun might make you uncomfortable at times, but this TV show will also make you smile, especially when you meet the lovely volunteer who helps the show's main character navigate his personal struggles. Number 4. Cactus This short movie follows a group of high school students in South Korea. One of the girls falls pregnant and their caring biology teacher tries to help her, albeit at the risk of his own career. The best K-dramas provide a look into Korean society, and this drama is no exception. It is also great for learning Korean vocabulary focus on school settings and young people's speech. If you want to sound authentic when chatting with your Korean friends, the best thing you can do is watch Korean dramas featuring young people and their colloquialisms. Number 5. Empty Room Empty Room is about a girl trying to resolve her relationship troubles. She reaches out to her boyfriend over the phone, but the message she leaves sounds more like a goodbye. Will they manage to work through their issues? You can watch this love story at your own pace, stopping and re-watching scenes when you need to, for an optimized learning experience. And remember, if you can't understand a line of dialogue, you can pause the show and have LingoPie read out the phrase in a clear voice. This feature on LingoPie, on top of the Korean subtitles, makes all the best Korean dramas accessible and engaging for Korean language learners. Number 6. Acid Solution Acid Solution is a short movie produced by a group of cinema students and their teacher. The low-budget drama depicts a group of school students mixing an acid solution with a mysterious liquid and they accidentally start a zombie epidemic. Will anyone make it out alive? Watch the drama unfold while learning Korean at a beginner's level with this super fun science fiction Korean drama. Number 7. War of Scraps if you're looking through our catalog for some shows to learn Korean at an intermediate level, check out this exciting one-off show about trash collectors who find themselves faced with a mysterious disappearance. The unlikely focus on scrap collection workers and the juxtaposition with the slightly comical dark subplot makes this show unique, engaging, and very entertaining. For this reason alone, you shouldn't miss War of Scraps. This short is a great choice if you want to develop your natural use of simple Korean phrases. This is due to the fact that the characters are average working Korean speakers, using language organically and in a natural context. This show, unlike some others on this list, is more grounded in real life and employs a lot of relevant and useful Korean vocabulary. For this reason, War of Scraps is a great way to learn Korean through Korean dramas. Number 8. King of Skewers this independent comedy drama set in South Korea follows the journey of a shop owner who is starting a restaurant business. 
He enlists the help of a couple of friends to get the ball rolling on his new venture. However, when an unforeseen problem arises, he risks losing it all. We don't want to spoil the plot, so you will have to watch the show to find out what goes wrong for the Skewer King. Given that this K-drama is recommended for advanced learners, it is best to watch it with Korean subtitles. Number 9. My Friend Two Korean college students spend all of their time together until their friendship is shaken by a new girl who gets super close to one of them. The other girl finds herself left out of the loop and tries to make her way back to her best friend. The vocabulary you will learn from this Korean drama will be very useful for meeting people and striking up friendships when you travel to Korea. You can study the initial interactions between the new friends and employ the same phrases, mannerisms, and tones when meeting people in real life. Watch my friend with Korean subtitles to maximize your understanding and vocabulary acquisition and get the most out of this Korean drama. If you want to go to Korea and chat with native speakers, you should get comfortable with the idea of making mistakes. This is a valid and essential part of learning Korean and any other language. The more you watch Korean dramas, the better prepared you will be. But remember that nobody expects your Korean to be perfect. Number 10. Home Cafe Last but not least on our list of the best shows to learn Korean, we have Home Cafe, an independent Korean drama about a family business and its workers. In this show, a coffee shop's internal politics and relationships are explored through themes of professionalism and family ties. It features language at an intermediate level, so it is a super useful show to watch in order to pick up some business Korean and coffee shop vocabulary. With LingoPie, you can pick up slangs, useful phrases, pronunciation and improve your vocabulary while watching TV. So click the link under this video to access a free 7-day trial, which provides access to all LingoPie features. You can stream more than 1500 shows in multiple languages, sign up for private classes with tutors, use dual subtitles, flashcards, quizzes and much more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you next time.